Google Greetings, hello and welcome back. How are we doing today? Episode number 26 coming at you. Imperial Jedi, of course. And we need ourselves a waterfront train. We just need it. I don't even remember what our last train of thought was in the last episode. Train of thought? Good pun. Oh my goodness, we're off to a terrible start. I love it. Okay, yeah, so what I wanted to do, not to jump right into this right away, but I think we should finally, you know, do something about our downtown public transit hub. And when I say downtown, it's kind of like a secondary transit hub. So we're actually going to be building a really big, grandiose one on uh, our island front over here. But just so you don't get us started, get a little bit more um, action happening in our waterfront. Give us a reason to start uh, zoning and stuff down here too, get some waterfront, um, you know, bike lanes and whatnot. But yeah, I don't know. I just suddenly feel like we have to do it. So I think today's episode is going to be pretty much a continuation of um, just our, you know, public transit network, train of thought, that kind of stuff. So we'll talk a lot about, about that kind of stuff. And I do also... Um, want to maybe do a bit of a push for the, the milestone. You can kind of see we're really, really close here. Like it seems achievable. It might not happen this episode, but we could at least, you know, lay a little bit more of the framework. Get some high density zoning in somewhere around here. Okay, what are we doing here? We want to be above grounds. Yeah, I was just kind of thinking we could uh, have a train that comes down here, maybe follows the uh, curvature of this road. We can try and sneak just the littlest amount of zoning through here. Just to get some traffic and maybe get a bit more of a feel for like what this area is actually going to look like eventually. But I see it as kind of like low density housing, a little bit of a high density pocket right in this spot here near the interchange. And then, yeah, as long as the rail doesn't spoil the view too much, I think it'll kind of it'll look kind of nice. And then like a you know walking trail bike path right along the top here. This theoretically could also be an oversized national park with a few um, uh, homes on its outskirts. All right, there's a lot of competing ideas here. I feel like I'm all over the place right now. Let's uh, let's do the train. Let's see how this starts to unfold. And also, I was just taking a look around the city. In case you're curious why the, uh, the people are really happy and sad there, uh, just for some um, sports stadium stuff. So home team either just lost or won there. Oh, it's going to be a finicky one, eh? Oh, and by the way, I just terraformed initially so that the parking lot would look nice and flat. And we'll probably uh, smooth stuff out after. Okay, we don't want to... Oh, there we go. Let me swap this really quickly. And guys, I'm starting to um, just, like, you know, break the ice a little bit on uh, recording some other games. Getting a bit of a feel for it. So Transport Fever, I've been talking about that one for a while. That will be coming soon. Just think about this now because we just switched to Surviving Mars. Surviving Mars! The game has aged so beautifully. I kind of play it casually still. For whatever reason, I never really did any content for it. I recorded some. It just, I was such a newbie in the beginning that the stuff I was talking about, I was so sure, but I was so wrong, you know? So it was very embarrassing. I'm meaning to like redo that, but I never really just got around to it. It's just been like onwards and upwards with Skylines, which is not a bad thing, but. Here we are five years later and I'm still playing this game. Every day I feel like I'm gonna like, you know, wake up and be like, nope, we're done. I think I mentioned that before a few episodes ago. But now, yeah, I'm fast approaching 5,000 hours in this game. And you guys, you see it, and sometimes when I respond to your comments, or I'll, I'll apply some new stuff, like, I learn new things all the time. I'm definitely no qualified expert, but I, I feel like I have, like, an idea now on, like, city traffic and, and planning, and you can, like, you can almost, like, objectively look at, like, an infrastructure project and see if, like, they hit a home run or not, which is kind of weird. And I feel like you guys, even you, you right now, you could probably go to your city council like, if you know of an intersection in your town that just isn't working, you can apply your city skyline skills. You can go there with a logical argument. And they might be like, well, yes, this person's absolutely correct. Say, yo, man, what, uh, what uh, traffic school, or young lady, what traffic school did you go to? The school of the internet. No, but for real. What is it, 10,000 hours, you become an expert at something? So I think the more hours you play in this game, the more... More, like the closer you get to that, right? I'm sure internet hours are different than real life hours, right? In terms of like building experience. But once you get over that first learning curve, I guarantee even you guys watching now in a few months, few weeks, few days even, you will be better at this game than me. I've become like a veteran newbie at the, some of these games. I learned a few things along the way, but definitely you guys will be uh, you guys will be much better than me, which is fun. Nothing wrong with that at all. I love seeing the progress. I think. Watching people's personal development through this game, especially like streamer friends and that kind of stuff, it just, it's so fun. It's like watching someone get better at painting. You're just so excited to see what they'll paint next. That was poor train. 
And then, yeah, just kind of like when you merge creativity together, when you have people from like different parts of the world working on these collaborative projects and stuff, sharing ideas in the comments, and when it all just comes together, you know? It might not even be that English is our first language for all of us, right? It's just really cool to see all of us come together, try, share ideas. And it's a video game! That's what's so cool about this. Oh, I'm getting the feels right here. We didn't come here for the feels, we came here for Skylines! What is this? Okay, back to the game. What is this, bananas? So what I'm trying to do right here is there's a nice level um, uh, interchange. There we go. And I might smooth part of this out, just so it doesn't look so, um, so ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, for a game that's five years old, we brought all of us together and we're still hanging out. That's really awesome. So it's just a pleasure to spend time with you guys. Really appreciate you all being here. All right, nice smooth curve going down. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. Nice. And that's not too scary. And we probably hid the scariest part under underground there, which is cool. Now, it would be nice if we could get a... Uh, a train connection going the long way, right? So we want this to be uh, bi-directional, or whatever you want to call it. So we might have it leave underground, just so again, we're hiding like the scary stuff. When I say the scary stuff, I mean like, you know, the weird uh, bits that are very warped. Yeah, that's much better. And then make this a really, really smooth, long, exaggerated uh, curve in. And I think that'll look really cool. Oh, wow, even right to there. Yeah, that can probably straighten out. I really, really like in this game when you've got um, like a wide corridor of trains like this, and you'll have like a cargo train going next to a passenger train. And there's like another one waiting. It looks awesome. I think I just have a love affair with trains. City building's just a byproduct, right? But I, I just I think the the trains is really what I'm here for. As a kid, I loved model trains so much. I never stopped loving them. Still do. The dream would be to have like, you know, YouTube videos of like my backyard farm where I'm building those like two foot tall mini riding trains. And we're like building like train trestles and stuff like that. That could be our videos. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it looks nice. Not too, not too crazy. We're hiding most of it. We'll bring this road down, maybe curve in. We do want to definitely fill this whole area in here. Give the uh, interchange some space. But we, we need a lot of people living here. Holy smokes. So this population, it seems like a lot, but it's not, eh? Like 34,000 and change. We need to be like 50,000 plus right now. We are we are making grandiose ideas here, but not enough people to fill those jobs and stuff. Okay, I mean, that looks fantastic. Just from the overhead, just blends in beautifully. Seems like it's there the whole time. Following the curve nicely. It gives us a lot of space still for some, uh, some zoning and some waterfront activities. All right, and I think the idea of this train was to maybe have like an express route connecting, like not the small town, but it could be the small town, you know, if we bring uh, a little bus route up through here, but basically connecting this hub uh, over to here, just like an express route. Yeah, you can take the metro for sure. Maybe this is faster though, because there's no stops in between. Or if you're a train enthusiast, you don't want to take the, uh, the scenic route. All right, so let's pop this one. Yeah, just from here to here. Now I think the long-term plan is what we're going to do, push down a little bit further, let's cross the river, and then we can have a, a loop that goes right through here, hops over to the islands, we can do a wide train station here next to, or maybe even part of our giant central park, have like a train corridor come in, have the trains um, break down, so everything's kind of kind of chaotic here. We might maybe use the height to our advantage, the fact that this island's taller than that, and I might come in with a train that bridges and links up to this little uh, works here. And we still want to bring this one down to the island, so it's going to be kind of a little chaotic, but we'll figure it out. I think the real original plan was to have a train uh, loop through here, have a train station in here, but I think that's a little bit too chaotic. The, the trams and the, the trolleys are doing a great job, and I wanted to do an expansion for the trams anyway, so... That'll solve that problem. Okay, well, why don't we just leave the train station hanging out here for the moment until we figure out for sure, for sure, what we're going to do on the other side, even though I'm fairly certain that we already know. And then anything coming through here, uh, infrastructure-wise, theoretically could become a tunnel. So we had a little, like, you know, access road or service road. And there's the... I'd say also the river's wide enough that we could maybe um, do a little bit of terraforming. Oh, cool, a train! Oh, what are we going to color this, by the way? All right, what's a fun express color? Uh, something memorable. You know what would be nice is that turquoise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Are we using... I don't think we're using that color yet. I don't think so. Either way, I love it. So let's keep that. And uh, let's... Um, yeah, let's just break ground over here. Let's do what we finally intended to do like 10 million episodes ago. And that was to make a somewhat downtown, at this point, uh, transit hub. So I'm going to actually make this into a park with a couple of districts. And we're going to use the Park Life DLC stuff so that we can snap some uh, buildings onto our tramways, which will look awesome. All right, so speaking of trams, let's figure out how we want to bring these in. Oh, I love this song so much. The Surviving Mars soundtrack is just so pleasant. I think it's fun when uh, publishing companies do this, where they'll borrow games from each other's uh, soundtracks. All right, so we know that we cannot cross over top of uh, trolleys, but we can definitely go over top. So let's take out this. Let's see if we can get that just right. Yep, 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 right there. To, I think, oh boy. Oh, the squares are different on that side, but I think that's what I want. Yeah, that's fine. And then I want to make my way in over here. Okay, so that one over to here. And we're just going to check to see if this slope is good. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. You know, it could be improved on slightly, but if we actually extend the park over to here, we can maybe snap one or two things, which is really a fun thing to do. Okay, now what is our plan over here, I wonder? I guess it might make sense. Here, let's just do this. Just snapping these in to hold the spot. So let's get a pathway in between here. And we'll put a fence, which will look really awesome. Is that enough room? It is. Fantastic. Just a little safety fence here. For the buses and whatnot. Okay. Now, I do want this to meet up over to here, but it's going to have to come in at an angle. And it would be really cool if we actually had a double through here. So let's double up the track. I want that one to come in. Probably not going to use like two sides of each, but we'll give the option to come in and out. All right, bring this down. And this hopefully shouldn't be horrifying. Oh, there we go. Yeah, honestly, that's too bad. That could be a smidge smoother, but that's totally no problem. Still a little bit of line up here for buses. You know, I might, I might maybe make the executive decision here to get one extra lane and just push this through. Yeah, we'll just do that little spot there. That'll help with the turning. And it, I'm not going to bother trying to move all this and get this all sorted just to get one extra uh, little bit of road upgraded. Okay, now it'd be really cool if we were to sneak right through here and then maybe make this stretch here, tram road, and then we have a tram uh, bridge crossing going across, and that's how we can get some uh, traffic over there or some transit. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, no way. Dude, a straight shot, too. Incredibly awesome. Very lucky right there. And I want people to access. And I think it would be smart if we had uh, some bridges go over top of all this too. But let's get more of the infrastructure in place before we uh, start doing that. Okay. Now, not that anyone's going to use it right now. Oh, what if we went further? Oh my goodness. If we went further down... We could connect this over. Hmm. That might be cool like that, but it's a very close intersection. That's the only downside. I just want, like, more uh, tram access. And I think, like, this is not, like, taboo, but it's kind of taboo, putting a roundabout in a tram, or a tram in a roundabout. 
uh, you can maybe do, you know, like an actual like crossing through here and have like traffic lights and stuff. Let's try this though, just to see if it doesn't really snarl traffic. Might be kind of fun to see a tram go through this. I wouldn't normally do this if the tram, or sorry, if the roundabout was a lot smaller. But just in the interest of getting more trams around. And then I do like the idea of this one. Okay, well that's horrifying. But something we need to work with. Okay, so it's that one going outward. I swear, some days you gotta pack your patience with this game. Oh, that's nice. And then, is that... Oh, perfect. I think that could have been down by one. Oh, forgive me, guys. I'm just going to do that really quickly. These little things, I think they're worth it. Sorry if it takes too long sometimes. It also reminds me, we do need a half episode where we can waste a whole bunch of time doing this kind of stuff. I want to say waste, I mean pleasantly spend it together, having polite conversation, detailing, getting lost in the little things. All right, watch this be one too low. Um, it kind of is, but, oh God. Um, okay, we'll come back again and fix this later. It's not too bad, but I don't think I like that. All right, that's not why we're here today though. You know what really the problem is too, is like this creates a short intersection. Like the, the you know, the game treats us as intersections, right? So I, I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? I won't sleep tonight. The whole time I'm like, oh, I should have fixed that bridge. It's four in the morning, you know, just tossing and turning. Oh, just one more page up button. Okay, let's watch this like head on here. I think some of you are like rolling your eyes at me being like, oh my goodness. Okay. There, see, wasn't that so worth it? Are you kidding me? Look at that. Picture perfect. Get your postcard application pictures out or whatever that is right there. Also, that boat. What are you doing, buddy? You get lost? Okay. Focus on the task at hand, please. All right, so we've got a uh, tram coming in. Not the most beautiful of setups, but that's okay. We can make things work over here. Let's start getting more of the um, walking path in place. And I did say I wanted a bridge, so this will be kind of cool if we uh, overlap all this. That actually might need to be... Oh, no, that's not the height. That's the issue. It is the fact that there's no room for pillars. Hmm, that is just the littlest bit crooked. I don't think I'm gonna remember that it is though. But right now, I don't wanna keep that. I seem to be in one of those moods right now, you know? Dangerous to play Skylines when you're like this. Okay, so let's get some more access through here. The game's very helpful with me trying to like find all the snaps and stuff, but sometimes it, it hinders. Okay, this one might just end right here. And I can cross over and put something on it. And I think I want through here as well. I just wouldn't mind seeing like a lot of like pedestrian activity, kinda like making making it seem like it's really like bustling and Hip hop and happening over here. Okay, I can probably. There we go. It's Super Salmon Days down at Fish Brothers. For a limited time, bring in any. Actually, no, you don't. I think I want to listen to the uh, Sunset Harbor one. Okay, then we're actually put, you know, fences through here, trees snap down a whole bunch of stuff. So when you have the park life deal, so you guys have seen me do this in the past, um, we're gonna put down a main gate. We're gonna overlap a couple things too. So it'll be really cool. And then really, really like overdue to fill this in. And something, you know, I, I don't, like I like the idea of this, but I feel like we should add an extra lane through here. I'm just gonna revisit this really quickly. This will be a lot more active now, right? So put on three speeds. Wanna make sure the cars are going through. Oh, they are dipping. Okay, just really quickly. If this stuff happens, by the way, it's actually a good example. I'm not quite sure why this happens, but an easy way to fix it is to redraw your exit points. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, see how the cars are disappearing right here? 
It's rather clipping through, as if the bridge was still its old um, uh, slope. So we're just going to redraw these bits here and just tell the game that you know we have a new slope. Pay attention. No shortcuts, please. Usually does the trick. Usually. Don't quote me on that one. Okay, so let's try that again here. And we should... Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe after that guy, we should see some um, some balance and order restored here. Uh, better, but worse? Oh, holy hot dog, what have we done here? <laughs> no? Okay, we're getting a little bit better. We're getting a little bit better. I think what might maybe work, and starting to get a lot of hand here, is if we were to put um, one more width uh, in this, which we cannot do. Oh goodness, oh no. How does this stuff happen to us, guys? Oh, it won't, that won't do it either. Oh, you are mean to us today, game. Right, we got ways of making you talk. There we go. Okay, so that should go down a little bit. That's what it's telling me. Uh, just a slight little detour, my friends. Slight little detour. Okay, that's a good height. And then now let's come in and um, attach to this. That's looking a lot cleaner. Uh, I'm just really also going to quickly redraw this so that hopefully helps this, uh, the slope be a bit smoother. Okay. Labor of love this game is sometimes, right? Here's the moment of truth. All right. Okay. Okay. It was worth it. It was worth it all along. Not, not perfect, but way better than what it was, and I'll, I'll take that. And this gives us a little bit more lane management, too. You'll see cars stay to this lane if they want to exit, go to the middle lane if they want to go through. Yeah, and then carry over. That's good. Multi-lane usage. I like that a lot, as a matter of fact. Just make this a little bit of a safer exit, you know? Okay. So let's put down the main gate. Don't have any of the transit lines just yet. Parking lot right here. And let's just frame out a little bit of this. Oh no, wait, we are batting a thousand today, dudes. Look at this, no problem at all with the pillars, made it right on through. Right on through to the other side. Oh, actually, this might be nice too. that come in a bit? Yeah. And that's cool. I'm try that same thing over here. So let's cut off part of it. That's nicer without the uh, little clip. Beauty. Oh, no, no, no. Now, I wonder, this sometimes works. This is also a little bit of a, a wonderment, a thought query here. If we do uh, partially elevated for a little smidgen of it, will that fix that problem? I think so. Well, oh, we're just getting bad luck here with our commercials, eh? All right, back to surviving Mars. Oh, I think I did the wrong pathway. Yeah, yeah there we go. That's also, it's a nice looking bridge. Park Life DLC, I don't remember if it was brought into, um, the main game, some of these new paths, I think they're just part of the Park Life DLC. But if you do happen to elevate uh, the wooden pathway now, or the dirt pathway, my god, that's beautiful. Same with, um... Yeah, I believe they added that to the free patch way back in the day, but now uh, elevated dirt roads. It was never a thing before. And now they have this like beautiful wooden structure to them. Oh, that's nice. Alright, so fencing, more park vibes through here. Beautiful soundtrack. Alright, so trees. Everyone's favorite friend. Who doesn't like a good tree? Shade. Maple syrup, if it's the right kind of tree. Is it my list stops there? That's all you need, really, right? Okay. And so I do want a little bit of zoning through here, just to get some activity. So why don't we do a district with some commercial specialization? That'll give us that look of more parking lots as well. I 
And of course, goes without saying, more chances for more names for you wonderful people. Appreciate all your support, guys, every one of you. Even just, you know, thumbing up the video, hitting the likes up. Hitting the likes up. You know what I mean? Just hit, hitting the like. There we go. Hitting the like, dropping a comment, just being awesome and checking out the video even. It all helps. It means a lot, too. If you are looking to help, just tell a friend. You know, tweet it out. If you enjoy the content, let people know. All right, so we want this to be specialized. And I'm excited to play some new games with you guys, too. Love Skylines forever and always, of course, but... Branch Network, it'll be a lot of fun. We're going to add some new people to the, to the team. I think if we do it the right way. And then we can turn them into Skylines fans. So there you go, eh? All right, so we got the park and everything established. We have ourselves a gate, so we can start snapping down some stuff here. And this is just only because of the Park Life DLC. You have to have that DLC installed to be able to snap stuff to um, uh, to pathways. And it also works for tram tracks, which I was going to do earlier, but I completely covered up now with, um, with these guys, the pathways. Still accomplishes what I'm going after, though. Right over here, right? But not too original plan. Let's move these down a bit. Uh, no water over here. That's weird. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's trees. You can really see, like, slowly by slowly, piece by piece, it really does come together. Let's put a fence through here. Yeah, you can make the arguments, a lot of rinse and repeat. We're doing the same thing over and over again, but, you know, we get better at it that way. And that's kind of what I was talking about earlier, right? Be able to, like, to objectively look at something from, like, a city building perspective and be like, yes, this was done really well, or no, you know, you guys should have done X, Y, or Z. And you know how it is sometimes, too, with your own projects, right? It's great to have a second set of eyes. Sometimes you're just emotionally too close to the project. You don't know. So go to a, go to a consultation when like a new intersection is being built. Look it over. Offer recommendations. Be like, ask the real questions. Why isn't this a roundabout? You know? Get down to business right away. All right, just one more set of pathways through here. And I still think we have just enough time to do a little bit of residential zoning. Nothing crazy. Not that much time, but just enough time. Okay, so snap some more stuff in here. Just some of these skinny things that we can. Might lose that tree. That's okay, put that back down. Oh, this is so much fun. I love putting this stuff together. All right, so the park, when it unlocks, um, or upgrades tray, we'll unlock more pieces, so we will keep some of this open. And we should bring in, like, a little bit of these kind of decorations. I'm not using them all that frequently. So why don't we have a little spot over here set up as kind of like a garden. And let's do a small breakaway path. I don't want to snap it on. I'm trying to, like, move it. There we go. No, it really wants me to, eh? Alright, I'll play by your... I'll play by your rules. So we'll move this slightly over. It's a little bit of a height issue. I'm not trying to be perfectionist here, I promise. Just uh, I feel like I should make that a little bit nicer. That looks terrible. <laughs> All right, one flower box it is. But yeah, I was thinking over here what we could have is like a little um, set of stalls and whatnot, and then we'll put down a little cafe uh, seating area. Like an outdoor beer garden or something like that. Is that a sandbox? Oh, that's cute. Hmm, I wasn't planning on doing some of this stuff, but no, let's just get a little bit too complicated. Let's keep this simpler. Food truck. Special permission to come on in. And then a slight dirt path, because that's definitely what people would do. Like, this would be the paved part, and they're like, no way, bro, I'm going this way. 
and then that connects back in. Nice. And then a little uh, pavilion. Use this guy here, gazebo. That's nice. And then we could do the pavilion, which I do like as well. I'm trying to remember where that one is. I think it's over here. That's the one I'm looking for. Throw that down near the benches. Get a little bit of recycling in here too. Don't want to neglect Mother Nature. This is kind of what we do in the half episodes, by the way. In case you're kind of curious. What are these mysterious half episodes you keep talking about? Well, we do a lot of detailing. Detailing, fun little things like this. All right, now I want um, a bit more of like a paved area. I was kind of thinking of something a little more like rural. Not rural, plan, plan, not, this is more rural. Or is it, you know what I mean? Oh boy, words, they're hard sometimes. No, I was thinking, uh, where is it? Like using these kind of things, like putting this down. More of a planned area. Let's see what we can do over here instead. And then I don't know if I can over... Oh, I can. Cool. So, chess tables and some picnic benches. Cool. And same idea. Let's get some trash and recycling. These might be the same thing. We'll pretend they aren't. Is that recycling? Trash bin. Trash bin. Pretend they're recycling, please. Or we should just throw this one down. There we go. Okay, now what is the uh, oh, fencing that would work? Do that and then <clears throat> maybe zone a little bit in here. Yeah, I do want to keep some stuff open for when we actually unlock some new things here, but let's put a cafe, justify more of the uh, seating. Now let's switch gears and do a little bit of uh, people zoning. What am I looking for here? <laughs> I'm so forgetful today. All right, so where's my long skinny one? Perfect. And then maybe we can sneak something underneath here. Totally push my luck at this point, but you never know. Oh, that's cool. Just for eye candy, you know, so when you're looking at it, you'd be like, whoa, you can put stuff underneath there? The goal is to really seem like this is a modded city by the absolute end of it. When we zoom all out and it's all done, people are gonna be like, no way, you're, you're definitely using mods. Be like, no, the whole way, whole way, just vanilla. Vanilla and DLC. We're gonna, of course, mod it once we get the, you know, that part done, but I just wanna get there. I think we can definitely do it, too. It's looking fantastic so far. Oh, you know what? Actually, since we zoomed out and saw this, someone reminded me. I also forgot who you are now. There is uh, some uh, local metal and glass, I believe glass, being made at... Oh, God, a fire. At our uh, recycling. So it says it does produce a little bit of raw materials. For sure metal. I'm actually not sure about glass, but for sure metal. Well, interesting thought to help uh, power some of our uh, industry. Okay, so we do need some more people in here, so let's really quickly um, throw in some high density. So close to a new milestone. And just keep going onward and upward. You know what? Uh, let's maybe fill this little corner in here. This will be a fun challenge, I think. Now, I might, might borrow this intersection uh, for some extra traffic. Seems like I can handle it. Yeah, and with the six-lane road here, too, we'll get some cool um, lane usage. Oh, that would have been so much better. Um, okay, let's try to line these up. Cool. Cool. 
And then bonus points if we can get these two together. No way, look at that. That'll help with the schools, services, help keeping some of the traffic off the uh, that intersection right there. And it should give us a fun little bit of zoning through here in terms of like variety. One little dead end street. I don't really do them too, too often. They're very common in real life cities. And I think part of my logic is I don't like how they deliver services. And I think it looks kind of weird how um, the trucks and like vehicles turn around. I wish you could do cul-de-sacs. If you do cul-de-sacs, I'd be sold 100% on these little small streets that are just like dead end, little wavy ones. All right, now the plan was residential, but I feel like it's a really, really noisy stretch here. This is kind of, oh boy. I don't think people are gonna like this actually. But we can give them a helping hand. We can do a lot of trees through here. So let's do a wall of these guys and then some variety. And we'll monitor the noise pollution, but we can always convert this over to be commercial if needs be. And let's sneak a peek right now, see how we're looking. Oh, no, that's not so bad, actually. That's not so bad at all. I keep thinking the trains are going to be way louder, but it's just the stations, I guess. Really, the highway's the issue. But no, this is a good breakdown. we got the commercial in this part here. We're going to upgrade this road, I believe, now to be tree-lined. Do it for all of them. We'll allow a little bit of parking on that stretch. Cool. And again, it's a little loud, but let's give it a try. Keep this back part open. Yeah, it's nice. It looks like it's been there the whole time. I love when that happens. And it kind of suits that little intersection there nicely. Traffic's not too bad. Again, some weird U-turn action happening here, but that's okay. It's kind of like a weird roundabout in that sense. Train's looking great. That's what I was talking about earlier. So you having all this stuff go by each other? Love it. Alright, so what does our population really look like here? So we need, uh, oh man, just under 2,000. We kind of went in a circle. I think we lost some people from a bit of a death wave. Which is nicely spread out. It's not happening all at once, our death waves. They're pretty pretty easy on the population, all things considering. Okay, so let's maybe fill in a few more visible spots here. Just to get a smidgen more zoning, help fill this in. And then we'll come back and revisit this really soon with um, some half episodes. So if you are in the mood to do a lot of dead-end roads. I would definitely say, um, like, don't don't steer away from them. If you really like the idea of it, just do them. Just be aware of the fact that sometimes services are going to be a little bit challenging. You will have vehicles that will be trying to turn around in very peculiar ways, and you might have some some issues with, uh, with the traffic and stuff. So just give it a nice high walkability score. So we can connect these two areas together, and that's going to encourage people to uh, to walk on through. And they might ditch the uh, the car behind, especially if there's a bus stop, like right here, right? So this kind of stuff more frequently. And I would probably say, like, do the dead ends a little bit more with residential than you would with, say, commercial. Commercial is going to be getting a lot of activity anyway, so you don't want to bottleneck it. Whereas residential, you really only go there if you live there. Or if you're like a service, you know, say you call the police or something, right? Okay, well, I think we'll leave it there. Yeah, we're close to the population milestone. Not quite this episode. I think we'll get it next one. But yeah, onwards and upwards. This city, every episode just seems to get better. Trains looks really natural. We left this as a regional connection, which is okay for the moment. If it gets too backed up, we'll, uh, we'll take off the uh, local trains. Or make it only local trains, sorry. Metro's looking good. Getting some more action on the Port of Washington Parkway, finally. And I think, yeah, if we do a smidgen, you know, even just now, right? End things off with a little bit of zoning. 
the very rarely placed by me, very rarely placed uh, high density commercial. Get a little bit of action through here. And it comes down to noise. I think we've talked about that in the past, in case you're curious. Commercial are noisy, they don't mind the noise, so we'll put them in there. All right, well, that's it, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you, as always, for checking this out. Look forward to the comments. And yeah, onwards and upwards. Look at this. All right, just... We almost made it. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys being here. Um, I'm going to name some more districts soon. We'll have another half, half episode coming up. And I want to say, like, once we get another big chunk of the city, you know, like the milestone unlocked, um, start pushing on the island or making the university campus, after, like, one of those big, big projects is done, we'll probably have a, a cinematic episode, which are so much fun to do. We had a lot of requests for just following some buses, following some people. So we can do a few of those little uh, silly episodes as well, which are really fun. Cute and dorky. Love them so much. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out. We'll expand on some trams. Just kind of, yeah, push for the population and just see where it takes us. All right, guys, drop me your questions. I'll see you in the, the next one. And take care of yourselves. Happy building. Thank you.